Hello, it's me, Lamer Gamer, and today I am modifying the man cave. Well, the woe man cave, as we call it, because Killer Queen also shares it with me. Today we will be hanging a wall bracket, how exciting, to hang a TV off of so she can watch Netflix and actually chill while I game, stream, and do various random things on the PC. So here we go. So here is the offending wall that we will be hanging the bracket from. It lives currently just on the other side of that mask by the way hello mr psycho how are we doing today very quiet so the bracket i'll be installing today is the sandstorm easy glide for motion tv man as purchased from curry's i'm sure you can get it elsewhere but we got it from curry's because it was there at the time let's have a look at the box And of course, always make sure you are correctly supervised when doing this sort of work. In this instance, we have. We have Grandad, Esmond. Hello. Hello. You ready to stop me electrocuting myself? Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Time to go to work. Ow. <laughs> Problem, we have the wrong size drill bit. Actually, we don't even have a drill bit the right size, so got to go to screw fix and get some. Yay! Schaefer driven by the wonderful Esmond. Great news, got the drill bits. Bad news, I got drill bits for metal work. So, just goes to show, read the flipping descriptions. Because we're men and we're too stubborn, we're going to try and use a metal drill bit to drill a wall anyway. Here we go. Now we've got to mount the TV. One thing I always do recommend when putting mounts on the back of TVs is to place it on something nice and soft so you don't damage the screen. In this case, we have a big shaggy rug, complete with TV. Once out of the packet, it was really easy to attach to the back of the screen. Just four screws and you're done. Okay, with the mounting bracket installed, it's time to mount the TV. Seems to be on. So I'm just going to now add the retaining clip to stop the TV falling off the wall should it be moved in an adverse direction. Time for a test. Oh yes, perfect. Okay, so more on the trials and tribulations of this mountain bracket and the TV screen that I bought as a Christmas present for Killer Queen, my wife. We have the power supply, yes. We have to reach the, at least underneath where I'm currently stood, like there. And this is how far it reaches. I should have really checked, but... 
looks like we're going to need an extension lead. Okay, so now it's installed and powered, let's give it the initial turn on. So it doesn't turn on. <laughs> it's a good sign. Well, the TV's now installed, so there's only one job left to do, and that is clear up after yourself. So I'm not going to be needing this. <coughs> Whoops. And I'm going to need to grab a vacuum. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching the trials and tribulations of hanging that wall bracket. Um, there were obviously some things I needed to learn, like read the instructions, um, check the size of the drill bit, read the descriptions about the drill bit, check the length of the power cord. But aside from that, I think it was a success on the whole. Hopefully Killer Queen likes a present when she gets home. The purpose of doing this video was just to prove that doing DIY in the house, even just mounting a TV bracket, can be accomplished by even the most silliest of numpties out there, me being one of them. Obviously, if you're going to do any major work, I would suggest going to a qualified professional or at least having someone on hand that knows what they're doing. If you like anything that you've seen in this video or just want to continue laughing at me, uh, please feel free to subscribe to me on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Twitch. Uh, and I will see you again. Cheers.